All right, so let's jump right into this. Um, these videos, I'm going to try to make them fast-paced and pretty short, if possible. Um, sometimes I tend to ramble and make these videos and stuff a bit longer. Um, I talk a lot. But uh, here, YouTube has a pause and rewind, so you can go back in case you miss something and repeat it a few times until you get the concept. Uh, so try to keep up. Um, I want to get this, you know, going and into your head as quickly as possible. Um, when you load up AutoCAD, this is going to be your default interface, more or less. Um, the difference being the background, I've already tweaked my background. It comes with the, with the default gray color. Uh, I changed mine to a black color. It's just easier on the eyes. and just looks better to your, your all of your colors and lines and all that will pop out uh, better. Um, all right, so the different parts of, 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 uh, of the window here, of the software, what you're going to see. Uh, let's start from the center, really, is the, is the main area. So this is the drawing window. Uh, this is where everything's going to be done. You're going to do all of your all of your drawing here. Modeling or drawing will be done in this drawing window. There's a few things. There's um, some controls for the window. Minimize, uh, maximize, and, and close out. And over here are some other things related to um, certain aspects. This is visual styles. When you get into 3D, you can... You can um, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll make more sense to go to, to what the visual styles mean, but it changes the way your 3D model looks. Um, this is your orientation um, of how you're looking at a 3D model, but I won't get into 3D modeling until later on. Uh, so this is your, your main drawing area. Down here is going to be your command line. When you're typing in commands, they're going to be they're going to show up down here. Ah, there's one other thing. This will be turned on. So um, if you're just playing with the cursor, you'll see some stuff next to your cursor. Um, and I'll get into what that, that is later on. Um, but you'll see things down here in your command line. As you're, as you're doing certain things, certain commands, um, information will pop up down here. Or as you type in a command like line or something, uh, it will be entered here in the command line or also next to your cursor. You can see I'll type, type in a line. It shows up there uh, either way. Up here is your... Um, really your toolbar. Uh, this toolbar works a lot like uh, maybe Microsoft Office products. You're going to have tabs, and each one of the tabs will have um, commands and, and functions and features and things of that nature that relate to whatever that uh, tab is. So Home tab, having most of your uh, really commonly used uh, commands and, and icons and all that kind of thing. Um, I don't use the ribbon in particular. This is, uh, I, let me go back. AutoCAD ca uh, calls this the ribbon. Um, I don't use the, the ribbon in particular. Um, I started before the, I started working with AutoCAD before the ribbon um, was a thing, uh, and I still uh, don't use it. I'm just not, you know, as used to it. I'm faster with using the toolbars, uh, which is one thing you don't see here. You don't see toolbars here, uh, but. As you move on, and you know, you can you can choose if you want to use toolbars. Um, it's how it's how AutoCAD used to be laid out, um, but you can't get the toolbars just straight up through here. I can get into it later, and I will. Um, but you can add toolbars, and toolbars are the same thing as the ribbon. Only each toolbar has um, its own um, you know collection of icons, and there's just tons of them. And we'll get into that a bit later. Um, down here are some quick access icons for various functions. Um, there's a lot of them, and, and, and as you get used to AutoCAD, these will make a lot more sense. Um, but they're just toggles to turn things on and off. Like, for example, you can see how I have uh, the text next to my cursor. Well, I particularly don't like that, so I turn that off. It's called dynamic input, and if I turn that off, it no longer shows up. Also, when I start typing in a command, you won't see it next to the cursor. You're going to see it in the command line. So... Um, it's, they're just, they're just toggles that do various things down here. You're going to have your model and layout tabs. There's only one model tab where you can do drafting and modeling, but you can have as many layout tabs as you need and you create them. Layout tabs are meant to simulate a, a, a drawing, a paper drawing working space where model space will work on large scale, um, uh, coordinates and dimensions uh, layout because it's meant to simulate paper will be based on paper sizes you know eight and a half by 11 11 by 17 22 by 34 24 by 36 things like that um, and it uses viewports which I'll get into viewports at an, on another lesson but uh, so this is how you can swap back and forth between your model and layout tabs 
um, consider these to be, you know, individual drawings and this to be the working space for those drawings. Uh, beyond that, you have uh, some quick uh, access icons up here for creating a new drawing, opening, saving, printing. Um, you have kind of a help over here and some online functions that I don't really ever mess with. They just don't really help out all that much. Uh, but that's it. So your major areas are your, your drawing area, your command line, um, your uh, main toolbars, your or in this case, the main tabs on your ribbon with all the commands, uh, your quick access uh, down here in the bottom right hand corner, your layout tabs, um, and your uh, quick access functions on the top left. You can also click the A here, and it'll bring over, uh, your up like more, a more traditional menu with you know new drawings, open, save, and, and things of that nature. Um, so, but <clears throat> that's it. That's your layout. This is what you're going to get familiar with uh, for a little bit until you're ready to move on. Um, just real quickly to show you. So in order in order to even get to the toolbars in the first place, should you want to use those, your menu has to be turned on. Um, not this menu or these. There's an actual menu bar up here with the full AutoCAD menu. And to get to that, it's hidden by default when you install AutoCAD. To get to that, you're going to type in menu bar at the bottom. It's a variable we're going to turn on. You can toggle it on or off. Zero for off, one for on. So we're going to say one, enter, and you'll see now there is an additional toolbar up here. This is really the, the, the main toolbar. Um, this is when you turn the ribbon off and you'll see if, if I just right click here and say close, that all the tabs are gone. So what's, what's left is that toolbar. If, if I didn't have this toolbar turned on, I, I wouldn't have access to anything. Uh, through here, everything, just about everything in AutoCAD is available. And a lot of these things that are available in, these, in this menu system were available in the ribbon, but there's even more available through here. And one of the things that is available through here that's not available to the ribbon are the toolbars. When you go to toolbars, you choose either AutoCAD or Express if you have Express installed. Um, and from here, you can pick which toolbars you want. Let's say I want the standard toolbar. So I'll just go to standard. Standard has things like open, save, print, uh, undo and redo, and some other things like that. And what happens is it creates a toolbar. Now the toolbar is just this. You can place the toolbar by dragging it anywhere. You can dock it to the top. You can dock it to the side. Uh, either side, um, and I uh, don't think the bottom because your, your command line's there. Um, you can go through, and, and once, it's, once it's, actually, once it's docked, you can right-click in this gray area, and then you can go to AutoCAD and start picking out your other toolbars. So on the next video, you might see that I already have my toolbars already set up because I'm, I'm used to that, or, or maybe not. Uh, I might help you get used to the ribbon as well. So... Um, also for this command line, you can leave it where it's at, which a lot of people do, or you can drag it down and dock it to the bottom where you can see a bit more of the history of what you've been typing in. Uh, on top of that, hitting F2 brings up a separate window that shows the entire history of the command line that you can scroll up and down through just an expanded, uh, command history. But I like to keep my command line docked because it allows me to see things you know, permanently when it's, when it's set up here, um, what you do will come up, but then after a short while, this area will, will fade away. Um, and that kind of is, you know, cumbersome to have to go back with. So I'll leave it docked. So that's that. I'm going to close this out, uh, turn off my, uh, standard toolbar and bring the ribbon back by typing in ribbon. There we go. So that is your, AutoCAD interface. As far as colors, and I'm going to I'm going to take you to a window that's going to seem really complicated and foreign, but just follow my directions exactly. If you want to make things look cleaner, go to options by typing in options. Oops, I spell that right first. Type in options. And you're going to want to go to the display tab. Okay, lots of tabs here for options. Go to display tab, go to colors. And you have all these working areas. So in 2D model space, you want to change the color from what it, what it currently is to the black color. In your sheet layout, you're probably also going to want to change that to the black color. Same thing for 3D parallel projection. Skip perspective because you're not really ever going to work in that unless you have a really powerful machine. Perspective in AutoCAD takes up a lot of processing power. 
and a good graphics card, good processor. Uh, and the block editor for later on down the line also change that to black. Apply and close, hit OK, and you'll have your black background. Um, and that's it. 